Welcome to a new vlog. As you may recall from previous videos, I slowly got these uh, different cigarette lighter connectors with the purpose of testing them and figuring out if they can really take the rated current because it's often the case where these cheap connectors from AliExpress are rated for 10 amps or even more, but if you put that current through them, they slowly start to melt, potentially burn, releasing nasty fumes and in the process, uh, something worse can happen like causing a fire. I sometimes review power stations here on the Volo YouTube channels. Uh, those usually have at least one 12 volt cigarette output that's rated for 10 amps and how am I supposed to test that if my connectors are melting? I need some reliable connectors and uh, wiring harnesses to perform those tests. So here is what I have here. Our number one sample is this connector, which I got back in 2019 for about 85 cents a piece. This was labeled by the seller as brand new, high quality, 12 volt, uh, 24 volt, 10 amp male accessory car cigarette lighter uh, plug socket. And I'm pretty sure I've tried using one of these uh, before and it melted at 10 amps but we'll see how it does today. Connector number two is uh, one which I got in uh, 2023 for about 63 cents. It ended up costing about $2.30 including shipping and VAT. Comes with these accessories. It was labeled as a 12 24 volt 15 amps high quality car cigarette lighter charger socket power plug outlet and it comes with a uh, rocker switch that you can install. I'm not going to be installing that for this test. I don't want this extra link in my test setup. Connector number three is uh, this one, which I got in 2023 for about 70 cents. It's labeled as a high quality car cigarette lighter charger socket power plug. And this one is rated for 10 amps. And also from the same seller on AliExpress, I got connector number four. This one looks very similar to uh, connector number one. So that's why I have them labeled so we don't uh, mix them. Um, this one is rated for 20 amps and it has visibly a different shape and feels like a different uh, material for the plastic, but we'll see how this does. And connector number five, uh, this is actually the only one coming from a reputable distributor. I got this from DigiKey comes from this manufacturer. I'll put the part number on screen. This one actually has a data sheet, comes with a rating of 20 amps for 18 hours continuous duty. Now links for all of these uh, connectors uh, will be placed in the description below if you'd like to check them out and maybe order uh, some of these. And before I continue with the actual test, let me mention the sponsor of this video, which is PCBWay.com, a professional PCB manufacturer with excellent quality and fast turnaround times. From two layers to advanced multi-layer flex rigid PCBs, PCBWay will have you covered. You could also try the new module store on their website, where by using bonus points or cash, you can purchase a great variety of electronic modules and related tools. Check out their website linked below. At first, I wanted to use this uh, VW OEM automotive female socket, but there is no specific uh, amps rating uh, printed on this. And the fuse that protects this um, output on the car has a rating of 20 amps. So we might be pushing this little guy to its limits at uh, 20 amps. Maybe it's only rated for 10 or 15 amps. So I instead opted to use uh, this uh, female socket that I also got from uh, DigiKey and it comes with a datasheet and a rating of 20 amps. Because whether or not a particular cigarette plug uh, withstands its rated current is also dependent on this female socket, which should also withstand the current. And do that without overheating and potentially dissipating some of the heat uh, from the male plug into its own um, body and mounting frame. And this will be supplied via these 2.5 square millimeter wires, uh, with, that's approximately AWG13. Uh, from this uh, Dell uh, 12 volt uh, server PSU, which is more than capable of giving us 20 amps, it's rated for a maximum of 57 amps on the 12 volt rail, and it's going to sound like a jet engine in here. Throughout the test, I will be uh, measuring uh, the temperature with my uh, Unity uh, thermal camera. I also have a review of this uh, on my YouTube channel. I'll try to link that on screen for you to check out. And something to keep in mind is that our hottest point uh, will be the uh, positive terminal, which is down there 
and goes to this uh, terminal on the outside because that's in contact with the middle point on the uh, cigarette connector and it has less thermal mass than the negative terminal uh, which connects to these uh, uh, big metal sheet uh, contacts uh, inside. So that positive terminal on the back will be monitored and considered the hot point of interest. And connector number one, which was rated for um, uh, 10 amps, it's your bog standard uh, cheap AliExpress connector. This comes with a 10 amp fuse, so I tested this one at 10 amps. I don't like how this particular connector is uh, constructed. The contacts sit way too close to each other, and when this thing starts to melt, these contacts could very well short together. And I've started my test and it didn't take too long, probably 10 seconds before it started smoking with a very bad burnt plastic smell. And it's not the first time this has happened to me personally. I will never buy this type of connector from AliExpress. There are better alternatives as we'll see in a few moments. Connector number two was rated for 15 amps and it did came with a 15 amp fuse in the package. I don't really like how this one is construct constructed uh, internally either because the positive and negative terminals sit very close to each other. Feels like it could easily short. I ran my test at 15 amps um, and I would say this connector had a thermal advantage because uh, I did not install the switch which you're supposed to put on this end and this left a big opening on the connector that would allow some convection cooling. Now, 10 minutes into the test and I was measuring 100 degrees Celsius on the back of the socket. And 20 minutes into the test, I was measuring 110 degrees uh, Celsius. As we'll see later, this particular connector ran cooler than the others I've tested. And I suspect it was because of the big vent hole, which I left open. No smell of burnt plastic on this connector. Um, if that opening was covered, I think we would see a different story. So don't count this one as a good uh, connector just yet. Connector number three was rated for 20 amps and it has a 20 amp fuse inside which was a good sign. This connector has a different construction than the others and the plastic feels different. I ran the test at 20 amps, the full rating of the fuse. 10 minutes into the test the back of the socket settled at around 115 degrees Celsius and it didn't uh, rise any further. More than 20 minutes into the test still floating around 115 degrees Celsius on the positive terminal and I stopped the test here. Nothing melted, no smell of burnt plastic and I was pleasantly surprised by this connector. I will be getting more of these uh, in the future because they're cheap and good enough for me. Connector number four was visibly very similar to number five, uh, almost identical molding of the connectors but also visibly lower quality especially on the metal parts. Additionally, even though this connector was rated for 10 amps by the seller, I started the test at 10 amps and 2-3 minutes into the test, this connector started smelling like burnt plastic and I stopped the test there. It was 120 degrees Celsius on the back of the female socket, removing the connector, it was very hot and very soft. I could just deform it with slight pressure between my fingers. In fact, the internals melted so badly on this connector that I had to break it away. It was just a mess inside. The fuse uh, was rated for 10 amps uh, and it barely survived. Just as a funny observation, this connector looks very similar to connector number one and yet it, it survived way longer at 2-3 minutes than the 10 seconds that connector number one managed to do. Connector number five, 10 minutes into the test and the back of the socket near the positive terminal was already at 110 degrees Celsius and you could argue that the crimps I used for this are not of high quality but check out this picture with the same crimps on the PSU side. I've used exactly the same crimps and crimp tool. It's just 37 degrees Celsius and there's 20 amps going through those. So I don't think it has anything to do with the crimps. It's just the resistance of the whole cigarette connector into the socket, which is causing a voltage drop and consequently a power loss, which overheats these connectors. And I don't know about you, but I'm just not comfortable uh, running these connectors at over 110 degrees Celsius. I ran this test for over 20 minutes and uh, the temperature reached 120 degrees Celsius and uh, even though the plastic seems fine, it's not melting, doesn't really smoke, doesn't smell bad, anything like that, if I take the connector apart, I find that the fuse has soldered itself to the spring inside the connector by melting the small amount of solder at the end of the fuse. So 
it's clearly not safe to run at this current because the internal temperatures are even higher than what we're measuring on the exterior. And even though this is a genuine part with a data sheet that claims this is a 20 amp rating, I would say uh, it can't do it. It might be very good for 10 amps, maybe even 15 amps. It might not even catch fire at 20 amps, but it's not safe to run it at that current. So that's why now after I've completed this uh, test with all of the five connectors, I would probably choose the winner as uh, this guy, which is AliExpress number three because of that uh, thick uh, middle pin contact. It just manages the heat better where it's needed. And it's also cheaper and easier to get than the brand name one that sometimes has export restrictions from the big distributors. I mean, if it's easy for you to get the brand name stuff from DigiKey, get it because it's not much different than uh, this one, which is cheaper on AliExpress and easier to get. In terms of you know running them at 20 amps, they will be performing pretty similar. And in fact, like I said, I prefer the one from AliExpress because of its uh, construction with the very thick middle pin. It just handles uh, temperature better. So those are my results with the uh, male connectors, but in my opinion, uh, we also have to talk about the female socket. If we're talking about one that ones that are rated uh, for continuous usage at 20 amps, like this one or more, uh, I think they should also have a lot of thick metal construction to act as a heat sink. Maybe even some kind of uh, die cast from a cheap metal to act as a heat sink behind the socket. And I have seen something like that online. The product description mentions this is a heavy duty socket rated for 25 amps, which has some special construction like being physically longer, having a ceramic base for the positive socket, which we have seen it is the hottest point in our tests. And they also mention a double metal shell. So that's probably what you need for 20 or more amps to run it safely. In my case, I will settle for the uh, AliExpress connector uh, to use in my tests. I'm never going to be running them at 20 amps. Uh, I'm going to be running these at 15 amps at best. And I think this is going to survive just fine at 10, 15 amps. I would also be interested in hearing your experience with cigarette lighter connectors. Have you found any that uh, are running fine at 20 amps and don't overheat? And have you tested them with a thermal camera? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave your comment below. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content ahead. Thank you for joining me and I'll catch you in the next video.